What's going on, Paisanos? V here. Come on, you guys. Well, with the marker wash today. You know, Maze of Millennia is a set that basically everyone's been going crazy for. Everyone's been spending a ton of money on getting, well, this one card right here, Bonfire. In this video, we're going to talk about Maze of Millennia, what's going to happen to it, the prices, what's going to happen with the value. Is it worth buying Bonfire right now? Is it worth going after cards like Transaction Rollback? rollback and is it even worth going after triple tactics thrust currently being roughly around 35 dollars now i just want to get into this by saying paisanos i think maze of millennia is a pretty decent set because it has to be see had konami took taken out cards like bonfire just and rollback and triple tactics thrust this set would be ass <laughs> it would be so bad but i do think that you know obviously the chase of cards and may obviously make this set Here's the thing, though. This is the truth. Everyone buying Bonfire, everyone going crazy to grab Bonfire right now is only getting it to hold for a couple of weeks until you get actually used the card. So would you go ahead and buy a card at its overpriced? I mean, Bonfire is pre-selling at one point. I believe it was like 125 I believe. The pre-sale was insane. 130 uh, And obviously, you can see over here in the past, well, since uh, it first got listed, it's been falling down in value. Current value of Bonfire right now is roughly around $80 a copy. $80 for this card. Here's my take on it, and it's a very true take, and I guarantee you people are still going to buy this card because why waste money uh, when you can both waste money and then complain about wasting money? The value of Bonfire is going to be going down. We estimated this a while ago saying it could easily hit $70. I wouldn't be surprised this card even hit $60. And if you're spending $60, just realize this card was $130. And you're damn sure people spent 130 on this card. I mean, a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh players want to get this card as soon as possible. And by the way, you can look at all the sales over here. So today, it's about 9 in the morning. And so far, these are all the sales of Bonfire so far. At 9 in the morning. Once again, more sales, more sales, more sales. These are all sales so far today. Then you go to the 18th. Uh, and then you go to the 17th, 14th, so on and so forth. People were buying this card up. And there were people buying this card... For $130. Once again, people overpay New York constantly. But there's no reason to overpay for this card because you can't use it. I, I mean, I, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe maybe there's a deck out right, out right now that can totally utilize Bonfire. Maybe Snake Eyes is a good deck and we just don't know it yet. Because it's probably the only deck in the game that actually can utilize this card. So going back to what I was saying before. Do not buy this card right now. Do not do that. With that said... People are going to be buying this card. One thing I think is really interesting is the CR version of Bonfire. Now, obviously, it went down a little bit, but a little bit isn't really a lot. I mean, it was $223. Its current price right now is roughly around $211. This is going to be a card that's going to be dumped onto the market. Expected value of this card is going to go probably around $170. Maybe, maybe, maybe $150 at the lowest for a very short amount of time. I do think the CR version of Bonfire is something that a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh players might be interested in if you get your deck max rarity. And I do think there'll be Yu-Gi-Oh players out there that's going to be looking to do that. With that said, CR Bonfire is kind of like, it reminds me of the Adventure Package when it first came out. If anyone knows when it first came out, it was all CR. It was very expensive. Uh, but the pre-show was insane and it went down and then it kind of stabilized, went down. Then it stabilized. It saw some play, so it stabilized some more. And then Konami was like, hey, listen, you like that CR? How about we make that bitch reprint it like all over the place? And then the price went down a lot more. And the corner was like, hey, 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 whoa, I got an idea. I got an idea. You like all that shit? We're going to make water churches on OT. And they did. And the price kept going down and down. So look at the way at Bonfire. And whenever I see CRs, I just think Konami, it's, it's, it's a rarity waiting room for Konami. Despite the fact that it'll, just, it'll get reprinted. But a, a rarity waiting room in which we not only will see reprints is what I'm trying to say. But we'd also see something like, and I wouldn't be surprised, if Konami came out and said, Hey, QCR Bonfire, who wants that shit? And then you're sitting there with your CR that you paid, well, some people paid 200 bucks for. Some paid more, by the way. <laughs> About 220 look at this guy, 220 uh, And people are sitting there waiting going, is this, am I fucked? The answer is yes, you are. So, even though I do want to get grab CR Bonfire, so personally speaking, I feel like the price is insanely expensive. I don't think there's a right time to buy this card because I do think Konami is going to reprint the living piss out of it. And I wouldn't be surprised if this card gets a reprint in the next six months as a Ultimate Rare. I wouldn't be surprised if we over. In fact, I don't think it will surprise anybody. Konami reprints Bonfire as an Ultimate Rare and says, hey guys, I gave you a reprint. You just have to go to locals and fight everyone else to go grab it. Good luck. So, 
Obviously, that's the big hot card of the set. Once again, I don't think you should buy it right now. The prices will go be going down, especially for the ultra rare. Transaction rollback. So I talked about this card a while ago, and and a lot of people got really upset about me, uh, uh, you know, to me about it. And I I understand. And once again, nobody wants to hear about their deck just being only good for every short amount of time. But it's the truth. Transaction trans transaction rollback is a phenomenal card for labyrinth for a short time, and then labyrinth goes away for a long time. So. The CR obviously being rough here on 115 is insanely expensive. I don't recommend you go ahead and grab that. The Ultra Red being $35, that's a gotcha price. That's in that sweet spot where it's like, hey, 100 bucks you get your play set of transaction rollback. Pretty good. Who wants it? Friend prices, of course. And that brings us over to Triple Taxes to Rust. Now, for a lot of you players who don't don't have this card, this was like a good deal. I mean, it was 50 bucks. The price right now is roughly around 41. Not a bad price point. This card's price point will be selling roughly around 35 to 40 by the way. So it's not going to really tank down in value. And the reason why is because this card obviously is a really good card. Just know that Chromie did the same exact thing with Forbidden Droplet. So do not be surprised if you see another Thrust reprint in the next com coming months as well. Wouldn't be surprised whatsoever. Because I think it's really important for you to understand that Konami does this thing constantly over and over again. They're just lazy as far as their reprints. And in this case, they don't have to really work too hard when you can make Triple Tactics Thrust and Ultra Rare to try to carry Maze of Millennia. Once again, you don't, you don't want Bonfire? Fine. You don't, you don't play Labyrinth? You don't need Trash and Rollback? Fine. We'll get you on the Thrust. So that's kind of like the mentality with, with, with um, Triple Tactics Thrust. If anyone's playing Fire, one of the best cards out of Maze of Millennia that's kind of being slept on right now is Jet Synchron. This CR is currently roughly around $56. I think it's a great price for this card for a CR. This card's going to see a lot of play in Snake Eyes builds, so if you're looking to play Snake Eyes, uh, even some Rescue Ace players will, will actually want to grab this card. Now, it's a little bit expensive for the current for what it is used for. It's only a one-of, so I do expect this card to go down a little bit more down in value, but at the same time, it's it's a great card, and once again, a card I think a lot of you players gonna be using in the near future. So besides, okay, so let's play a game. Let's say you took out Transistor Robot Robot I can't even say that card name right. I don't know why. Let's say you're not playing Labyrinth, and let's say you're not playing any Fire deck. So Bonfire useless, and you've been had your Triple Tactics Thrust. What does this set give you? Earth Bounce. <laughs> That's cute. What else? I mean, literally, what are we talking here? Ancient Chant, Junk Warrior QCR which has been taken by the day. Chimera, the mythical flying beast, a card so bad that even actual, the branded Chimera place actually looked at this card. Some don't even know its effects. So what does this set do? It's technically a bad set. And I do think Mesa Millennia is only gonna be good in the short, in the short end. I don't think Yu-Gi-Oh players next month is gonna be running to their locals to grab Mesa Millennia, especially when we have Fam Nightmare coming out. So this is gonna be, once again, and this is a real weird time in Yu-Gi-Oh! because it's a time where it's gonna be a lot of hype, but in a short amount of time, where the real hype should be spent on Phantom Nightmare, I think this is a great set, and it's gonna have a lot of hype behind it, and a lot of people would have cracked the living crap out of this set. I don't think Maze of Millennia is a set you should be caring about. Paisanos, I just wanna throw it out there. I think, once again, like I said, give this set a week, maybe even two weeks, right before Phantom Nightmare even starts coming out. Uh, even starts, you know, be releasing and whatnot. I think this is when, when everyone's going, getting ready for the pre-release of Phantom Nightmare, that's when you can start looking to grab your bonfires. That's a smart way to do it. As far as any lab players, the clock is ticking, and you are running out of time. Uh, enjoy your transaction rollback right now. Try to, if I was a lab player, no, what I would do, I would play as much Yu-Gi-Oh! as humanly possible, because I know my deck is going to be the best deck in the game. For a very short amount of time. So I want to get as much value as possible. I would try to go as many regionals. I would be cooking left and right. Because the second this shit happens, that makes life infinitely worse. So if you're a lab player, that's what I recommend for you guys. So obviously, that's the, that, you know this is a set that everyone's going to be running to to buy this weekend. The smart Yu-Gi-Oh players are going to sit back and relax. If you can get a good deal on Bonfire, why not? If you can get a good deal on Chess Synchron, why not? Triple Tactics Thrust, uh, Trust and Rollback, I, I, mean, I think you have to buy. But, like, those other cards, why not? If you can get a good deal. But don't rush into it. It is a horrible idea. And I think we all kind of know that as far as, as far as whether or not what should we do with this set. The Calm and Patient get the most value, okay? And, of course, looking at other cards like Age of Overlord, I mean, this core set is still... It's still red hot. This is a crazy expensive set. Uh, cards like Sky, Sli uh, Sky Star, Superstar Slayer, Typhon, Sky Crisis. Easy name, right? In the past three months, we're from a price of $153 to currently $251. 
And of course it is. I mean, it's a card that everyone needs. It's Zeus, but this is a their version of a, of a Starlight Rare Zeus because we're never going to see a Starlight Rare Typhon, evidently. Other cards, like the Wanted Package, they're expensive. Hey, listen, this one over here is $108. I mean, it went down a little bit from 116 but this is extremely expensive, especially the fact that you need three of this card. And, you know, there's other cards in this game, like SP Little Knight, which you need. If you play Rescue Race, you need two. If you don't play Rescue Race, you need one. But even if you need one of this card, the price is definitely still up there, and it'll be really hard for this card to go down in value. The current value is roughly around $129. So there's a lot of value within the last core set, whereas everyone's going to be focusing on Maze of Millennium. See what I'm trying to show you here? Like, if you win your locals and your OTS goes, all right, what packs do you want? Don't be stupid and say Maze of Millennia. Be smart and grab Angel Overlord because I will give you the better value. Maze of Millennia only has a couple of cards that are realistically the chaser cards. If you say Maze of Millennia and your locals gives you and you crack a CR, would you be happy? Because if that CR is compared to the Fly Mythical Beast, I mean, hey, it's 22 bucks on a $4 pack, which is adorable. But you could have pulled an SP Little Knight and been infinitely more in the green. So be smart about it. That's what I'm trying to say, Paisanos. I know everyone's excited to get me some Millennia. And I know everyone wants to grab their bonfires today. But the ones who can go grab it today are the ones who can spend the most amount of money. And I think that's something that I think everyone needs to focus on as far as whether or not to save money. Be smart about it. Save money. I'm, I promise you. Bonfires are not going anywhere. And everyone knows everyone else needs the card. So they're going to try to dump the card. You can, you can play a market. It's insanely competitive. So people are obviously going to try to uncut people left and right. And that's where you and I come in. Because like I said, I haven't even bought this card yet. I can buy it right now. But I know that's not the smart thing to do. Be smart. Be patient. And wait. CR might be a little bit in a weird spot because I do think it'll go down, but I don't know really how like low it'll stay down. I do think CR bonfires might spike up, but we would have to see about that. Uh, with the release of Phantom Nightmare, obviously people would be focusing on the cards in this set. And let's be real, Promethean Princess, that, that, that's going to be a secret rare and it's going to be a QCR. So get ready for that ass raping. Uh, as far as what else, what else in this set comes in here? Um, the level one guy whose name I always forget about. Yeah, that's ultra rare if you're lucky. Realistically, probably secret rare. And he's going to get a QCR, and everyone's going to be wanting to grab that. The money is going to be dumped in Phantom Nightmare. Everyone and their mother is going to dump, and in, in some cases, quite literally their mother, will be dumping money in this set to try to go ahead and grab these chaser cards. So this weekend, just be patient, be smart, be calm. Don't sell into the hype. Don't, don't go in there and run in and go, oh my god, here, locals, take my money. I need to buy bonfires. I need them in three weeks, but I want to grab them today. That is stupid. That is an egregious waste of money. Um, normally, I do a full market watch. We look, look through a bunch of cards, but I mean, I don't think we need, realistically need to look through that many cards. I think in the short term, uh, there's a lot of cards moving moving around. Snake Eyes Flying Burst, we talked about forever. Uh, we talked about when it was relatively inexpensive. The card's currently $140. I think in a TCG, people are starting to realize that the Snake Eye build is like the underdog build because nobody knows about it. And I, I use the underdog real, really, I use that word underdog in this situation really weird because I, I, I think the Snake Eyes build might be the best build, but nobody knows about it. So the slick Yu-Gi-Oh players, the players, the smart ones, are just going to run in and grab this card. By the way, you need two of this card. And it used to be a lot cheaper, $139, when it used to be how much, $25 for this QCR. They know this is what they, this is, might, might be the next big thing. I'm telling you right now, if that's the case, then of course, and you know, they went up in value, so no matter about that. But this card, $45. Okay, this is a field spell. You just need one of this card. But once again, it's a card you're going to want to go ahead and grab because a lot of you get places to be focusing on other things. I do think we might see a little bit uh, of, of price bumps in uh, Horus cards. So, obviously, you're starting to see it already. There's only nine listings for the QCR. Uh, the Secret Rare has been going up, but it's always maintained a pretty, pretty crazy value. I think Horus cards have some crazy value due to the hype that they're going to have. So, just keep an eye on for that. But I ultimately think that uh, in the market right now, the prices are insane because, well, let's be real. People got money, and they wouldn't spend the money. And then another guy got some money. The only reason the prices in this game would be we, we, we would see them go lower if Yuga players lost their job, but as Yuga players, the community gets older, we're seeing Yuga players have adult money, and listen, you know, your dad probably uses money to buy, you know, maybe a, 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 a old car would have when he was younger, and put dumped money into that car, 
The Yu-Gi-Oh player base, we're not like that, you know? We're getting adult money, and we're dumping that money into things like an SP Little Night QCR. Like, this is happening. And the price, obviously, is jumping because that's how much people are willing to pay for this card. That's the secondary market in a nutshell. How much money is someone willing to pay for X, Y, and Z? And then this other guy, and this other guy, and this other guy, and that's going to determine how much the value is. People can do it with any card. Wabaku is a great example. Wabaku, the common, is worth a nickel. But if everyone values Wabaku at $500... Like that, the price is now 500 And to be in a competitive market, you might see it go to 490 might be see it go to 510 depending on the sales, but that's how it works. And with cards like QCR, SP, and Little Knight, this is a great example of it happening as well. So that's just something I think you can place in to keep in mind as well. I know you can place were upset. Someone, some were upset about my last video when I talked about the... Uh, the market and and to be honest with you, the only reason I'm saying that is because you think Konami's gonna stop doing this You think Konami's gonna go ahead and go all right guys. We messed up. You know what in fan nightmare we're, we're giving you common SP little knights Konami don't give a fuck about the player base. They really don't we are just used for money And it'd be great if the player base got together and did something But like I said in my last video the players are so fractured That's just basically not going to happen unfortunately. It'd be cool if it did It'd be if, if all the all the youtubers streamers content creators in general all got together, communities got together and said, everybody, you know what? When Fam Nightmare comes out, we're all going to go play Edison format for the next month until Konami gets their shit together. That would obviously make Konami do something and go, whoa, we have a lot of money we're losing. We got to, would make some happy. Let's do that. But that's not going to happen because you still have so many people that will continue to go and play this game. So, once again, since the community is so fractured and not united, this is the kind of situation we're dealing with, unfortunately. Will it ever change? Probably not in the near future, but who knows? Hey, listen, who knows? Maybe we'll see a new community come out in the next couple of years that everyone just goes, you know what? I'm sick of getting fucked over. Let's all unite together. That'd be cool. I think it'd be great. I think it'd be something that would help the game out, but it's not going to happen. And as it not, doesn't happen, people are going to be jacking up these cards like SPL and Night QCRs so and the next SPL and Night, next one at that, next one at that, just because there's going to be so many people that will dump money into this game. And since Konami short prints, and we know they short print, I mean, it's an artificial short print, by the way. And there's a big difference between short printing of, oh, we don't have the, the foiling to make these QCRs. And then artificial meaning, oh, we do have this shit, but we're going to put a little bit in so people keep playing the crack lottery. So, anyway, I, I keep going off on tangents, Paisanos, but I just wanted to let you guys know that, um, yeah, I, I would like this game to change. But the odds of it changing are astronomically, astronomically low. This is what it's going to be. You have to get with it or... I mean, you know, there's a lot of other great games. I'm off to go play Pokemon in uh, North Carolina this weekend. I'm going to have that video coming up soon for you guys. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe button, comment down below. It's your boy V. And you guys also have a great day.